Hello there, my name is John, and in this video I'd like to introduce to you SV Bonnie's new high-performance digital camera, the SV705C. First off, we'll take a look at what's inside the box. Then I'll show you how to put it all together. Then we will take a look at how to connect it to our telescope and notebook computer. We'll then need to register our new device in SharpCap. And finally, we'll try to collect our first planetary image. Let's see what's inside. As you can see, it's packed extremely well and in a nice, solid and secure box. And inside the box is the SV705C color planetary camera. On the top side of the camera, we have the connector for the ST4 guiding cable. On the lower side, we have the connector for the USB3 cable, which you will use to connect your notebook computer. The unit also comes fitted with a dust cover, which is here to protect the very sensitive CMOS sensor. So the camera itself contains an IMX585 CMOS color sensor, which supports extremely high resolutions of almost up to 8.3 megapixels. The pixel size you get with this is around 2.9 microns, which is also extremely powerful. It also provides you with a frame rate of up to 45 frames per second, which is a great advantage when you're doing planetary astrophotography. Also in the box is a T2 adapter and a 1.25 inch barrel T adapter. If we look underneath these parts, we find the cables and accessories. Here is the ST4 guiding cable. And here is the USB 3 cable. This is a, an M42 CS adapter tube. We have some lens cleaning cloth. And finally, we have the user guide. So, to summarize, here is a list of all of the items that are included in the package. Now let's put it all together. First, we remove the T2 adapter from the 1.25 inch barrel T adapter. And then we take our camera and we remove the protective dust cover. And we then attach the barrel T adapter to the camera. Now, in this demonstration, I'm planning to use a Celestron Barlow 2X lens. So, I will attach the lens to the camera assembly, like this, and tighten the screw. And then we are ready to mount the camera on our telescope. We're now going to connect our SV Bonnie planetary camera to our telescope and our notebook computer. In this video, I'm using a Celestron Nexstar 8SE telescope. This is fitted with a Celestron focusing motor and also an SV Bonnie 208 finder scope. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the eyepiece from our telescope and we will replace it with our SV Bonnie planetary camera. You notice the two green dots 
is to align the scope with the camera, which simplifies navigating to planetary objects using SharpCap. The next thing we're going to do is to connect the USB 3 cable. to the camera and the other end we will connect to the notebook computer. You'll see I have white dots here as well to assist me in the dark to locate not only the uh, location of the USB port but also the correct orientation of the cable. So, the final connection configuration looks like this. Before you can register your device in SharkCap, you should first go to the SV Bonnie website and download the latest driver. Simply go to the support page, select software and driver, If your notebook operating system is Windows, select it and under SV Bonnie Cameras, click Download. Once your software is downloaded, install it into your notebook computer and then start SharpCap. So, once you have successfully updated the drivers in your notebook computer, start SharpCap. Go to the cameras menu and select SV Bonnie SV705C and in a few seconds the camera will load into SharpCap. Okay, we now have an SV705 image of Jupiter displayed on our screen in SharpCap. I always like to start by using the largest capture area possible to simplify object identification and then to progressively reduce the capture area to a level where I can then start to collect my planetary image. Now I'm using color space of RAW16 and an output format of SCR and if I click on the auto white balance adjust button I can correct for image color. If we now maximize our exposure, we can see Jupiter's moons. And there we are, from left to right, it's Callisto, Europa, Ganymede, and Io. I like to use these moons to fine tune the focus of my telescope for imaging the planet itself. Now let's readjust the settings to their previous values. And now what I'm going to do is reduce the capture area And I'll select 1920 by 1088 and then recenter the image. And then I will reduce the capture area again to 1024 by 768. And then I'll go to 800 by 600. And then finally, I will reduce the capture area to 640 by 480. And this is the capture area that I normally use when I'm imaging planets. You can just see uh, the Jupiter's red spot in the view. Now we select the sharp cap histogram. This will assist us in making sure our exposure and gain are indeed set correctly and to avoid overexposure.
make sure that the logarithmic checkbox is ticked. And then we go to quick capture and we'll go for 1000 frames. So we're now downloading our image. After downloading, I then use Auto Stack Art and Registax to process the image. And finally, at the end of this presentation, there are two images of Jupiter and Saturn that I have previously collected.